This is Yanosuke Hirai, who's the, the arrow's over. And um, I was in Fukushima on the sixth anniversary of the nuclear disaster there. And I learned about Hirai when I was there because he was the engineer who was behind the Onagawa nuclear power station, which was closer to the epicenter of the earthquake, the Tohoku earthquake of 2011 that destroyed the Fukushima nuclear power plant, led to the meltdown. And Onagawa, even though it was closer to the epicenter, had been safe. It was a place of refuge for people in the city during the disaster. And I wanted to understand, so why was Onagawa safe when Fukushima, you know, was not. And, and it was really this engineer's name who came up uh, several times because he had insisted that that nuclear power station be built further back from the sea with a higher elevation and with a higher seawall. And the reason that he insisted on that, uh, he didn't live to see this earthquake, by the way, but the reason he insisted on it was because he had this memory, he had this knowledge, I should say, of his hometown shrine, which had had a plaque uh, honoring the sort of memory of a tsunami from the year 869, the Shogun earthquake. And uh, he carried that knowledge that a tsunami could have that kind of destructive effect, and it led to how he thought about this and planned for this uh, piece of infrastructure, this nuclear power plant, in a way that was uh, had more greater foresight than, um, than the TEPCO, the, the nuclear power um, company that ran Fukushima. And so I think part of the lesson here is that we need longer historical memory. Uh, so often we're only thinking back, and that's not just thinking, it's also the models we use to predict future risk. So TEPCO, the Tokyo Electric Power Company, which was behind the Fukushima owned Fukushima uh, Daiichi, that nuclear power station, they uh, were using computer models to model risks like a tsunami, like an earthquake, to their power station, but they were, their data only went back something like a couple of decades. And the one in a thousand year event of an earthquake like the one that happened in 2011 could have been put into their models, but they didn't look far enough back. Mm -hmm.